Hi, Nadia. Hi. Thanks for taking time to talk to us today. It's my pleasure. Yes, I am very passionate about Columbia Land Trust and I'm so excited to hear all about it. So um, why don't you just tell me a little bit about how Columbia Land Trust got started? Columbia Land Trust is about 23 years old. It was started uh, way back in 1990 in Clark County. Uh, it was started by a group of people who saw changes happening around them, loss of special places, and thought we need to do something about that. And so they got together and they organized a land trust. Um, Columbia Land Trust has um, worked since then. We were initially all volunteer and now we've grown to be about just over 20 staff, I think, and have four offices. And we work to conserve and care for land throughout the lower Columbia River region, um, which reaches from just east of the Dalles, so in the East Cascades area, through uh, the Cascades, through the Willamette Valley, down to the Columbia River Estuary and out to the Pacific Ocean. Since our small beginnings, we've really grown quite a bit. I believe now we've conserved over 24,000 acres of land. Um, and our crown achievement was actually just recently, our largest acquisition was actually 2,330 acres on Mount St. Helens. We just closed on that last month. So we're really excited about that. Um, but we have properties in the metro region, for example, as small as a uh, quarter acre um, and even smaller than that, um, up to 50, 100 acres. This property here is 100 acres and, and larger. So it, we really run the gamut um, in terms of scale. So I have a good idea what Columbia Land Trust is and what it does. And you've brought us out to this wonderful piece of property. Um, I look around and I see what looks like high tide on my left and dry land on my right. I'm curious as to where we are and what, why the difference? Welcome to the Wileski River. Wileski is part of the Young's Bay watershed. The Young's Bay watershed is the largest, last largest watershed before you get to the Pacific Ocean. It's extremely important in terms of juvenile habitat. Uh, for salmon. Salmon, um, as you know, come all the way down the Columbia from Canada through five states, especially Idaho, Montana, Oregon, and Washington. They are spawned way up in tiny little tributaries in some cases and make their way down to the river until they get to this, the Columbia River estuary and its associated watersheds. And um, they, before they go out into the ocean, need to rest eat, grow larger, and adjust to salt water. So this lower part of the estuary is particularly important for that before they go out into the ocean and of course eventually return and sometimes make it back to, your, to their original tributaries and sometimes end up on your plate. Salmon definitely mean a lot to our culture, but I'm curious to know how this land evolved. Like what's the history from the beginning? How did it get purchased? What was the process to get it to where it is now? And what does the future hold for this land? The Wolooski River property has a really rich history and story. Uh, back about 100 years ago, you would have come here and it would have been completely natural. It is, um, the property was a floodplain and intertidal wetland. It means that the tide would come in and out twice a day. It was wonderful, rich salmon and waterfowl and other wildlife habitat. But about 100 years ago, people showed up and they had to make a living. And so they decided to convert the land to a more usable state. So what they did was they built dikes around it along the river edge and they put in ditches and other infrastructure to help drain the wetlands. Then they were able to use the, wet, the previous wetlands, now dry, for a dairy farm. So it was a dairy farm for 50 or 60 years. And uh, over time, that, didn't, that wasn't as feasible and it wasn't as economically viable as time passed. So that went by the wayside. And we were given the opportunity to acquire this property starting in 2004. In 2004, a family came to us and offered to donate uh, 50 acres of their historic dairy farm to us. And that happens quite a lot. People come to us really looking for a solution. Sometimes it's they want to sell their land. Oftentimes, they want to donate their land. And that's because they recognize how special their land really is and wants to see it protected into the future. Uh, so in 2004, this family donated the land. Then in 2006, we acquired the adjacent land. And in 2008, we worked to restore the land. Well, I know I have learned so much in these last few minutes with you, and I'm sure our audience has learned as just as much. But before we leave and let all these animals get back to nature, do you have any parting words for our audience? 
Get outside, take your friends, take your kids. Leave only footprints, take only pictures. I'm Holly Fee, bringing you the tools to be sustainable today.